Hi guys, today's video is going to be five products over £20 that I would recommend. Um, not necessarily five products over £20 that are worth the price that they are because not all that many makeup products and beauty products and all this kind of stuff is actually worth the extra cash. There's a lot of stuff that you can get that's dupable. Um, but at this time of year when you're looking to buy gifts or um, ask for certain things on your Christmas list or even just treat yourself um, in the sales especially, I thought I would just show you five things that I really enjoy um, that are kind of on the higher price point end. So one of the things I mentioned recently, and that is the Laura Mercier Ombre Vanille, I think this is called the Body Souffle, Souffle Body Cream. This is beautiful, definitely more than £30 if you buy the full size of this, it's just a small one that came in a gift set. Um, and I've really, really been sparingly using this because I love it so much, but everything in this range smells delicious. There are loads of different ones and obviously it's going to appeal to different people. Um, there'll be a one that you like more than other ones but this one is the one that I like the most. You can usually get gift sets at this time of year where it's um, three little bath sets or you can get all little bath products in a set or you can get one with a fragrance which is what I was lucky enough to be gifted last year from a friend. Um, it was this, the um, honey bath and the perfume along with a shower gel amazing everything smells so good if you are looking for something to give to someone as a gift this christmas the laura mercier bath and body products you, you just cannot no one's gonna turn them down they are so amazing smelling and just you know generally very very luxurious feeling as well two more very luxury items um first of all is this burberry blush i've tried a few different things from burberry and the blush is the only thing that really wowed me um i think this is 29 pounds it's pricey it's expensive not one that i'd be buying lots of um but if you've got a beauty lover in your life would really, really appreciate this um or you know just for yourself i love this i kind of wish that i got one in a more neutral shade so on the pink side but i do tend to use it in the spring and summer time and it's the most blendable blusher that i own you could put tons of this on and it will blend out it is beautiful and it's still matte it's there's and it smells it smells like roses more than you could possibly imagine. Somewhere between roses and palmer violets, which I suppose is kind of the same thing, but it's a really, really strong scented powder that I didn't even realise it smelled of roses until I applied it onto my face and was like, where is that smell coming from? It's a very, very strong scent. If you're into that, you'll love that. Um, and then the packaging is obviously super luxe as well, but the product itself is genuinely better than most of the budget beauty blushes that I've tried. And that is the same with this. It's a Tom Ford lipstick. The only one that I've got, however, we've just got a Tom Ford counter um, in Meadowhall, which is my closest ma major shopping centre. Um, and I'm kind of thinking I'm going to be adding to this quite soon because this is my favourite, favourite lipstick. Uh, I say that, that's actually not true. Mac Faux is my favourite, favourite lipstick. This is a close second. Um, Mac Faux because the colour is just perfect. Uh, and I do like the texture of that, but this wears a really, really long time. I did also pick a colour that I knew I'd wear a lot. Um, and this also looks really, really nice over the top of Essence. What is it called? Plum Cake. Really, really similar. It's that kind of mauve nude that I really am drawn to. But it is the most long-lasting long and comfortable matte-looking lipstick that I own. Um, and it's just so expensive. It's the kind of thing that really only... A makeup lover, a total beauty junkie would appreciate. I could, there are certain people I could buy one of these for and they would totally appreciate that, you know, you hadn't just bought them a lipstick, it was a Tom Ford lipstick. Um, but otherwise I would probably save this as a, keep it for yourself because you'll completely understand what it means to own that lipstick. Uh, it's just a little bit special, a little bit more special than your average one. Uh, then I've got the Balm Nude 2, which I have used to death. As eyeshadow palettes go, this is one of my most used, which is saying something because well, it's not. I can't, is it saying something because I don't use eyeshadow a lot or is that the opposite of saying something? You know what I'm saying. I am quite literally saying something. Uh, I really, really enjoy, I think the colours I've used most are Sexy, which is this matte plum kind of colour, this burgundy. Um, Standoffish, which reminds me of Urban Decay's Sin. Uh, and probably Selfish. Oh, and Sleek as well. This is Selfish. And that's sleek on the end, this like matte black, or matte, oh not quite matte, slight amount of sparkle to it maybe, but almost matte brown, like an espresso kind of brown. They are so pigmented, easily competitive with um, Urban Decay. If you're into Urban Decay, you will probably love the balm. Um, some of my favourite, favourite eyeshadows, and I think that's around £26. The last one I want to talk about is a new one to me. 
um but i can't not mention it at christmas time it is super sparkly this is the uh, chanel illusion what is it called illusion d'ombre illusion d'ombre but i don't know um and it's in illusoire it's uh, number 83 and it's kind of got a slightly purpley silvery something to it just super sparkly and I'm wearing it right now um, I love it so much it's got sparkle but there's no fallout it blends really nicely out you don't feel like you're applying too much of it because it is it it's kind of imagine um, uh, I want to say like imagine an eyeshadow top coat because that's kind of what it is. You could put this over the top of something else and it doesn't add all that much colour. But it does add a lot of sparkle. I will show you what it looks like. Very metallic when you first swatch it. But, hang on. Did that even focus? I don't know. Metallic and sparkly. But, then. It, I, you put it on and it's like powder. It's crazy. It's like, can I show you? Look. Ah. Oh. Again, really expensive product, but I don't think you really need, if you get the right colour, which I feel like maybe I went a bit wrong here, I should have got like a, a gold or something, uh, something a bit more neutral. If you get the right colour, I think that this would work with so many different eyeshadows, because that's not a lot of colour on my hand there, is it? You've just really got a slight tint of colour with a ton of glitter. It's amazing. So again, something that, I mean, when you look at these things side by side, you're looking at a similar price for both of these products. I'm not saying that this is worth the same as this. I'm just saying these two products are really, really nice and they are on the pricier side. So that is it. I did do one of these back in July time or something that was more like my top five. If I was going to tell you, you know, run out and buy these things, they are genuinely worth your cash. Um, more than £20. This was more of a, if you're feeling splurgy and you want to know five things that I really like that are on the higher end, here are five recommendations uh, and hopefully you guys can chat amongst yourselves in the comments and let me know some other things that you would recommend in that price point because when it gets to this time of year i start making my beauty wish list for the sales and uh any recommendations i will take so yeah thank you for watching thank you for commenting in advance and i will see you guys next time bye